Hey Autoblog, Brandon Turkis still here with the uh, BMW X5 xDrive 40e. I'm going to talk to you about the Sport and Comfort and Eco Drive or Eco Pro settings and the E Drive button. This this is the most important thing about uh, about the X5 plug-in. You really have to kind of drive it strategically and you know keep your wits about you to get the most out of it. And if we go into, there's the energy flow right now because I'm parked, it's not, nothing's really happening. But if I hit the E-Drive button, it gives you three options, auto E-Drive, max E-Drive, and save. And they're all pretty self-explanatory, auto E-Drive, the computer manages everything, max E-Drive is pure electric, and save is nothing but gas, but you're recharging the battery. And that's kind of important because you know you only get about 15 miles to a charge based on my experience with this car so more likely than not there are going to be times where you have to recharge it yourself and that's where the sport comfort and eco pro settings come into play now based on what i've seen um we'll switch over to eco pro nothing really seems to happen in terms of recharging with eco pro it's there's very little regen um and the gas engine isn't used to act actively recharge the uh to turn the electric motor and charge the battery. Um, but comfort and sport especially, um, you can get a lot of energy for from a very short distance of driving. Um, as you can see, I have 24% battery right now. I, I just conducted a very non-scientific experiment. I drove the five miles from my house to the Autoblog office and I started with 8%. I had the car set to sport and save. So that's the most uh, aggressive regeneration with the ability to sock away all the battery power that you're, that you're generating. And I went from 8% to, it was at 25% a second ago, but because I'm parked, it's still drawing a charge. So that's a, you know, that's a 17% gain. Um, that's not terrible. And I've, I've gotten bigger gains during my test with this car. It all just, you know, depends on you willing to drive in sport. And you're going to use a little bit more gas. But if you really want to take advantage of that electric power, especially if you're going to be doing, like, a long freeway drive where you really can't use the electric uh, uh, EV-only mode, uh, it only goes up to 75 miles an hour, then the gas engine kicks in. If you're doing that, then it's a good opportunity to switch it over to sport or even comfort and put it in save and try and uh, recharge the batteries. But it's, it's particularly handy if you... Like me, you don't always have access to a fast charger. So there you go.